The Unnameable is a dead teenager flick loosely based on an H.P. Lovecraft short story. In the 1800s, a lady gives birth to a hideous monster too ugly to name. After slaughtering her father, the unnameable monster is trapped in the attic of the old house. In present day, a group of college students from Miskatonic University, yes, that Miskatonic University, decide to stay the night in the supposedly haunted house and come face to face with the grotesque creature known as the unnameable. The Unnameable is a cheesy, low-budget monster movie that features an impressive creature and some solid gore. Most of the film's budget went towards the creature's design, and it shows. The monster is genuinely terrifying, and it helped the film get a cult following, thanks to the creature being front and center on the VHX box cover. Upon editing, did I just fucking say VHX? The VHX, the VHX, the VHX. What's this guy's deal? I remember renting this one as a youth based on the cover alone. The biggest negative against the flick is the terrible acting. I know no one watches these films for Academy Award-worthy performances, but the cast of The Unnameable are inept and unanimously bad. Most actors seem to be reading their lines off cue cards and deliver them in a flat, emotionless tone. It's actually quite amusing in a bad way. The director was wise to keep the monster in the shadows for most of the movie. It really builds up some much-needed suspense and intrigue, and when you do finally see The Unnameable, it doesn't disappoint. The gore in the film is pretty wet. There's severed heads, throats get ripped out, and a head gets bashed in. The bloodletting really makes up for the film's unoriginal plot and bad acting. The characters are stock for the genre, except for the Herbert West wannabe character of Randolph Carter. Carter is a geeky college student and pseudo-occult detective who wants to investigate the haunted house and gets caught up in the bloodbath. He's an interesting enough character and the actor playing him gives an intense performance. Randolph Carter, being a Lovecraft regular, also stars in the film's sequel that came out four years later. There's a little bit of TNA, including a chick with super puffy nipples and an uncomfortable semi-rape scene. The film's climax features a somewhat lame Evil Dead-inspired ending involving tree branches attacking the monster. Overall, The Unable is a standard 80s monster movie with some gory highlights. Very reminiscent of Hell Knight and Night of the Demons, but it may be worth a watch for gore hounds and B-movie lovers. The film does feature a great 80s horror ballad during the end credits called Up There that is worthy of a listen. You ever been inside? No. You? No. Look, you want to pull out now before you get your wick wet? Give me a name. Yeah, you didn't know that if something's born really ugly, you're not supposed to name it? What? Yeah, if you, if you give birth to something really ugly, you're not supposed to give it a name. It's supposed to be like an unnameable, and then it's supposed to go live up in the attic. You didn't know that? Uh, what, what, man? I don't know what I'm talking about.